time to get them horns up in the air. Let me see them. Let me see them horns. Let me tickle you under the tits with those horns. How about that? Today we're getting into some old school stuff. Massacre. That's right. Massacre. Uh, from the album From Beyond. And it looks like all five of the top five jams are from this album. And we are doing the song that is the number one track here. Dawn of Eternity. Shut the hell up. Um, Dawn of Eternity from Massacre. Are you ready to do this? This is a band that I have heard of for a long time. May have heard a song or something there, uh, here and there, everywhere. But I don't remember much of this band. So today is that day where we listen to it. The biggest jam they've got here. Dawn of Eternity from Massacre. First we learn about the band, then we listen to the song. You ready to do that? Are you ready to do that with me? Let's do that now. Massacre, very surprisingly low numbers. They have 13,348 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. Top five songs. They all come from this album right here. Dawn of Eternity, that's the song we're doing today with 302,627 plays. Cryptic Realms, that has 205,000 plays. From Beyond, the album title, 227,000 plays. Biohazard, 127,000 plays. And Chamber of Ages, all from that same album. 103,000 plays. Let's look into albums and see what they released. Um, wow. This is telling me three albums. Is that true? Put that in the comments below. Uh, you got, oh, what's this? You've got From Beyond, Full Dynamic Remix, 1991. You've got From Beyond. It looks like they just changed some colors on that artwork from 1991. And then you've got uh, Promise, from 1992, or, or 1996, I'm sorry. And then I see down here, they put out a, uh, uh, is this, what is this? Is it just a single? It says 1992, In Human Condition, and that looks like it's a four song EP, 20 minutes, 36 seconds long. So not a lot of material. That might explain it. Are these guys completely gone, or are they still out and about? Um, now we look into related artists and see who they might have jammed with, played shows with, toured with, who people listen to when they listen to Massacre. And I'm getting a death, a death, definitely getting a death metal -y vibe. Autopsy. Sinister. My old metal band played with Sinister, Cynic, and Cannibal Corpse back in 1989. Carnage. Great band. Uh, I, I would love to click that and, and see what songs I knew from them because the album that I'm looking at, and i got to look at it. Dark Recollections, that's the album that I had from Carnage. Master, Malevolent Creation, Asphyx, oh yeah. Pestilence, yes, this is going to be death metal. Grave, I owned a couple Grave albums too. They had some, and again, we've, we've, we've mentioned Pungent Stench, and I had been caught buttering by Pungent Stench back in the day. Monstrosity, here's a fun story for you. Um, I actually got a hold of one of the guys from Monstrosity because he's, he's done all their artwork. Got a hold of him to see if he'd make me a t-shirt design for my uh, shop. He never got back to me. Morgoth, yes, I owned an album from them. Nocturnus, we have done them on the first listens. And I think we've done something off the album The Key from them. So this is going to be... This is going to be some death metal stuff. Now we look into that bio and find out what they're up to. Uh, maybe learn a little bit about them. And, uh, and then we check out the song. And you've got some dudes here. And it looks like they are in a uh, palm treed area. They've got like a swampy lake behind them. And they look like some death metal freaks. And they're looking into that camera to say, hey, buddy, you ready to rock? Come at us. Okay, here we have it right here. Florida based. That's where all that death metal comes from, right? That was a heavy, heavy, uh, 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 a thick place uh, for for death metal back in the day. Florida-based Massacre debuted with the release of From Beyond in 1991. It is a visceral record powered by the intense voice of Cam Lee and aggressive riffs by guitarist Rick Ross, uh, who pre previously played for death metal outfit Death. Okay. Uh, an EP titled In Human Condition followed in 1992. Bassist Pete Sisson and drummer Cyrus Peters participated in recording of 1996's Prom. <coughs> Pardon me. 1996's Promise. Massacre's first album was released once again in April 2000, featuring In Human Condition performances by Kronos from, uh, uh, wow, 
Kronos with Bill Andrews on drums and Terry Butler on bass. Kronos from Venom. Right? Is that who I'm thinking? I don't know. It is that time now, good folks, good people of the world, good, good, wonderful person paying attention right now. Um, it is time. We're going to get into the song Dawn of Eternity. This is going to be some death metal stuff. Old school. You ready for it? Here's the magic nipple. You want a taste? Give you a taste. I take a bigger taste. We listen together. First time. Here we go. From Beyond album, Dawn of Eternity. Scary wind. Lightning. Come on, baby. Oh, you know. When the band comes out doing that kind of stuff, you're in trouble. It will search back in the marsh pit up. Get back. Is this recorded at that same studio? What was it, Morris Sound? I think all the death metal bands went to Morris Sound. Got a little effect on that voice. Yeah, there's a furious mosh pit going on during this. Man, I'm starting to hear some uh, some interesting uh, vocal deicide comparisons. Wonder who was doing that first. And then that little voice goes. Wah, wah. When did that first deicide album come out? Probably recorded the same studio. Definitely raw, different old, uh, definitely old school. That's great. You can hear that double bass. Morris Sound was one of the first to get that really delicious double bass sound. People are having a hard time getting that good sound. Got the whammy going on this one.
Would have been 90 when all this stuff starts popping up, right? Man, I'm hearing some very interesting Glenn Bentonish kind of stuff. I wonder if. I mean, I'm not saying Glenn Benton, these guys ripped on Benton or anything. I'm just saying there's. Ooh, that's great. Cryptic Realms. I'm going to go listen to that album. God damn. Uh, yes, there was a couple of similarities that I was hearing in there um, with the uh, 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 suicide sacrifice and all that from, from Deicide, where I was kind of going, man, I wonder if they all recorded in that same studio, some demos had to have been laying around because I know a shit ton of, I'm, probably all of the Florida based death metal bands went to Morris Sound to do, if that's what it was called, I believe that's what it was called, but this guy was, uh, I can't remember his name. Was it Scott Burns? Scott, I can't remember. Anyways, he was like a dude that was, I know how to mix this stuff so it sounds good and you can hear all the instruments and Morbid Angel and all of them were going to him and Deicide and everything else. But uh, uh, what say you? Most important part of this video is what you thought of that song. Good, great, fantastic. Shane, let me tell you, Massacre is my favorite band. Here is the reasons for that. I'm going to feed you all the information and nuggets that you need to know about this band. Uh, here is my favorite album, this one right here, um, or Promise. Is Promise a good one? Should I check that out too? 1996 Promise. Um, have you ever seen Massacre live? I would love to hear those kinds of stories. Who would they have played those shows with would also be interesting to me. Um, or Not Good, Not Great Shane, it scared the piss out of me. It made me go wee-wee in my britches. I'll have none of it. It's not my cup of tea. I don't want it. Death metal scares me. And that's why it's called death and metal. And I don't like it. Uh, all of that can be put in the comments below, but we appreciate courtesy and kindness if you can down in the comments below. It's okay to have different kinds of styles of music and opinions on things, right? Um, if you have a hard rock heavy metal special request, you'd like to see it right here on this channel. By God and hot damn it, we can do it for you. Click that link in the description below. Even if it's your heavy metal band. Um, if you're a heavy metal band, you want me to check out your stuff, we can do that too. Uh, all of that can be put in the comments below and hit that link. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, and be my friend if you can do that, okay? Massacre.